I'm Fang Xin, an NUS student and also an NUS Overseas Colleges alumna. If you are watching this video, perhaps you may have an idea or you are keen to create a startup or you just want to learn more about entrepreneurship. So let me give you a brief introduction to the support and opportunities available at NUS Enterprise. NUS Enterprise, which is the entrepreneurial arm of NUS, plays a pivotal role in advancing innovation and entrepreneurship at NUS and beyond. Through global connections and various education and entrepreneurship initiatives, NUS Enterprise supports a range of entrepreneurial journeys and foster ecosystem building. One of these initiatives is the NUS Overseas Colleges NOC program, which celebrates its 20th anniversary in 2022. NOC is all about providing you with the entrepreneurial experience to start up your own journey. Through NOC, NUS students get to fly overseas to entrepreneurial hotspots across the world and take up internships in technology-based startups while attending classes in partner universities in those cities. For me, I had the best time learning in Beijing during my six-month NOC program, and it was eye-opening to work with people all over the world. There are various entrepreneurship and incubation support right here at NUS Enterprise, available to NOC or NUS students and alumni. Let's find out more about them today. The Hangar is the NUS campus hub for entrepreneurs, startups, and would-be entrepreneurs, startups for them to congregate for inspiration, share ideas, and synergize. You can see that the Hangar by NUS Enterprise is the pulse of the entrepreneurship community on campus, connecting aspiring entrepreneurs, students and alumni, entrepreneur societies, communities, researchers, incubation managers, all for the passion of entrepreneurship. We are a one-stop shop that space on campus to find network, information, to get a leg up if you're thinking about startups, where you can leverage like-minded partners, sources of hires, collaborators, and investors. We support our startups through the NUS Startup Runway, where we provide them with a suite of support services throughout their whole entrepreneurship journey. Hi there, my name is Raimi, co-founder of Date Digest, and I went to Silicon Valley as part of the NOC program. One of the biggest highlights from my NOC journey is to have the opportunity to take part in over 27 hackathons during my one year there, and being fortunate enough to win prizes for 20 of them. I was so inspired by the great determination and courage by founders in the Valley that I decided to take a leave of absence immediately after coming back to Singapore to work on Data Ideas full-time. And I'm just thankful to NUS Enterprise and NOC for providing me with the support required to become the entrepreneur that I am today. For example, an amazing co-working space like this here in the hangar has helped us unlock tremendous opportunities and networks in the space and helped us thoroughly on this journey. Hi everyone, welcome to Block 71 Singapore. My name is Winnie and I'm the marketing executive at Block 71. I'll be showing you around the space today. But before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about us. So Block 71 is an initiative by NUS Enterprise and its strategic partners. So we are a tech ecosystem builder and global business connector offering market gateways into and from Singapore and beyond. So over here at Block 71, we support the tech startups throughout their entrepreneurship journey and accelerate their growth by leveraging on our network and resources. So these include helping the founders to gain access to the business opportunities, mentorship and access to the fundings and many more. So currently, we are present in seven locations around the world, including Singapore, San Francisco in US, three in Indonesia, Jakarta, Bandung, Yogyakarta, uh, Suzhou in China, as well as uh, Saigon in Vietnam. Uh, we are expanding more locations and the upcoming locations will be more locations in China and in Japan as well. So these form a global resources for our startups. So here at Block 71, we have startups from a diverse background. From the last count, we have the founders from 40 to 50 nationalities. 
and we have a number of uh, partners who are co-located with us as well. So including investors such as uh, Sintel Innovate, Ospet Investment, Strike VC, and partners such as Maybank and NYK, etc. And in the rest of the launch pack, we have over 50 VCs, incubators, and accelerators as well. And to support our startups, we provide the test bidding opportunities for them. That is by buying their solution to test at our centers. So for example, we used to have AI voice work solution from Wiz AI for our call center, Rudimatic machine for our breakfast, and robots from Servio to participate in our events and etc. Okay, now let me introduce you to one of the NOC alumni. Hi, Vishnu. Hi. So this is Vishnu from Invisilo. Hi, I'm Vishnu, founder of Invisilo Technologies. I went to NOC Silicon Valley in the year of 2018, uh, January to December. I worked in a material science and engineering startup where we're dealing with electric batteries. The whole year was uh, really amazing for me. Went through a lot of cool programs and experiences from things like, you know, concerts, museums, all kind of interesting stuff to other aspects of uh, the entrepreneurial experience like hackathons, conferences, and meeting a lot of new people. I feel like the whole experience at Silicon Valley actually taught me what entrepreneurship is about. The most important thing I gained in NOC was actually the importance of networking. A lot of my contacts, a lot of my understanding and learnings are actually because of me talking to people all the time. I not only interacted with my NOC housemates, I also spoke to a lot of the local founders there, people working with space technology, 3D printing technology and many other things. And to all aspiring entrepreneurs, definitely NOC is important for you. For myself, I put in a lot of uh, learnings I had to uh, what I'm doing right now with Invisilo. From things like design thinking to uh, learning how to do team management and also getting mentorship and advice from the contacts that I have in Silicon Valley. So yeah, NOC is something that is extremely important and I recommend many of you guys to join it if you can. Thank you. Welcome to NMS Enterprise at Singapore Science Park. NUS Enterprise at Singapore Science Park is a partnership between Capital Land and NUS Enterprise to grow our deep tech startups in Singapore. Situated in Singapore Science Park 1, and in particular the Curie Building, we house about 20 to 30 validated deep tech startups at any one time. We focus on four main areas, namely connected devices, environmental solutions and advanced materials, health tech, agri-tech, food tech and aquatech. Some of the notable startups coming out from the Science Park startup community would be Food Alchemy, How Food, Craft Health, Processo Technologies, Space Age Labs, Impress AI, just to name a few of the companies that have graduated after they have received funding and taken up spaces on their own. Here at Curie, we have support infrastructure such as the demo deck, which enables the fabrication of prototype as well as dry lab facilities. As our companies are deep tech, there is a great emphasis on engagement with corporates, networking and community support in their journey to become successful enterprise. Hi, this is Liang Jie, co-founder of Torido Analytics. Torido Analytics is a deep tech startup incorporated under the NUS Graduate Research Innovation Program, which is a 12-month incubation program that allows NUS postgraduate students or research staff to commercialize their research work within NUS or ideas into a deep tech startup. We are currently housed in NUS Enterprise at Science Park Drive, where we receive numerous support in the form of um, outreach program and a holistic working environment, all of which are readily available to NUS students with a budding idea to step into the exciting world of entrepreneurship. NAC, this place, which is about 800 meters square in space, uh, is where we call it the innovative sandpit for our urban agriculture farmers. Over here, 
Uh, we have about eight different startups currently working in this place, doing different phases of agriculture work. So now let me show you some of the startups that is based in the NAC Centre. Hi everyone, I'm Fu Yuan from Singro and I'm currently doing research work here at the NUS Agritech Centre. And over here, we are actually performing various experiments on our crops. Here at Singro, we actually use technology to enable crop farming in Singapore in an indoor context. And we currently grow strawberries, komatsuna spinach, as well as cherry tomato in our farm. And then we are actually supported by the NUS Agritech Centre. We can actually use the precise climate zone as well as the growth zone here to perform various experiments. And then the results that we get, we actually apply them to the farm context to better grow our crops. So some of the experiments that we are currently doing includes the saffron propagation, cultivating of different strawberry varieties, as well as testing on our in-house pesticide solution, which is organic. And we are also looking into testing various kinds of fertilizers. So we are really thankful for NUS Enterprise for providing us such an environment and space where we are able to conduct our experiments in a very controlled manner and we are able to apply these results in a farm context to better grow our crops and to contribute to the food security in Singapore. My name is Kit and I'm the founder of REIT. Here at REIT, we make automated solutions for urban farmers. We make farming easier for people who are interested to go into prawn farming. We were invited to the NUS Agritech Centre when it first started. And over here, we have built several iterations of our tank systems. And we are starting work on our automated um, prawn systems, for lack of a better word. So I think being here at the NAC has been great because we get to interact with many other like-minded individuals and companies and I think this flow of creative knowledge from uh, among all the parties over here is great for us to grow our business. Um, so we can only thank uh, NUS Enterprise for that. Hello and welcome to Pure 71 and that's Port Innovation Ecosystem Reimagined at Block 71. Founded in 2018 by the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore and NUS Enterprise, the entrepreneurial arm of the National University of Singapore, Pier 71 is a program designed to boost innovation in the maritime industry, particularly through a global startup community. Every year, we help about 20 tech startups gain market access and do validation work through our network of maritime corporates, uh, investors, and other key stakeholders in the maritime industry. Many of these startups then go on to embark on test bedding projects, pilot projects, and uh, prototype deployment uh, projects. And many of these can benefit from the MPA startup grant of about 100,000 Singapore dollars, Pierce Anyone's network of resources, networking learning events, and also NUS's wider resources and network of entrepreneurial education, talent, and technology. Ranked as the top marine technology city in the world, Singapore is very well positioned to support the ambition and growth of marine tech startups. And Pier 71 is right at the heart of the maritime innovation ecosystem. So we would like to invite you to come and join us to reimagine the maritime industry. Now I'm going to introduce to you one of our startup founders and that's Grace. Her name is Grace. She is from BX, the CEO and co-founder of BX. Hi, my name is Grace, the CEO and co-founder of BX. I first started on my entrepreneurial journey by going for NOC Beijing College in 2012. And when I came back from the program, I was eager to start something new. At that point in time, I also had exposure to underwater robots through a competition. So that's how my whole startup idea came about. I went to work for the industry and realised uh, there was a market gap in what the technologies available was able to provide. 
and hence decided to start DX to really change the way how underwater inspections is going to be done by using self-driving technology in these uh, robotic vehicles that can help to do inspections so much faster. Uh, we actually were able to commercialize by tapping on support from NUS Enterprise by going through the GRIP program and then followed by Pier 71 where we are able to work with the maritime corporates uh, and startups to bring our market from a lab into the industry. Hello, come in. Welcome to ICE 71. ICE 71 stands for Innovation Cybersecurity Ecosystem at Block 71. It's founded by NUS Enterprise and Singtel Innovate, and we're the region's first cybersecurity entrepreneur hub. We're a mix of an incubator, accelerator, cybersecurity hub, and we're here to welcome the entire ecosystem. At ICE 71, we really focus on three pillars. First, we focus on talent pipeline. With our I-71 Inspire program, we help aspiring cybersecurity entrepreneurs on their journey to entrepreneurship. Second, we focus on innovation and startups. So with our I-71 Scale program, we help startups grow and scale in the region and beyond. And third, we have I-71 Community, where we bring together the entire spectrum of the cybersecurity ecosystem, from students to startups, corporates to investors, government agencies to IGELs, we bring everyone together to connect, network, and grow. Actually, let's talk to one of our startup founders now. Hi, Leo, how's it going? Oh, hey there, what a surprise. Hi, Linda. <laughs> I'm just in the well-stocked pantry enjoying a tasty beverage. <laughs> My name is Leo Hatton from Send Forensics. Uh, we're an email security, deliverability and compliance for outbound email company. Uh, we're founded um, in Singapore and we serve a global market. We are very proud and grateful to be part of the ICE initiative because it's, it's very uh, daunting, a lot of work to set up any kind of company, but cybersecurity especially, since we're on the frontiers of technology or of what is an arms race effectively, time for research and development is necessary and the support and resources required to do that are um, invaluable. And that's where ICE comes in. So ICE for us has allowed us to concentrate on the, the things that, that we do best, our core capabilities of building the product and selling it and providing us then with the, the ability to attend events, to meet with industry, to access resources, product testing, testing labs, um, all the kind of things that are um, necessary for a, for a business like us to, uh, to thrive. We hope you had an insightful time getting to know about the NUS Enterprise Startup Ecosystem. Thank you for watching and goodbye.